Hello everyone, Paladin Elisum here, and today we are going to look at the Faded Wizard Hat Guide. Um, basically this guide will get you an item called the Faded Wizard Hat, and it will also get you three achievements. The Glutton for Fiery Punishment, the Glutton for Icy Punishment, and the Glutton for Shadowy Punishment. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to show you what's uh, good about this uh, Wizard's Hat. So you can see I have a goblin here. Um, and I'll go ahead and equip my hat and see that's what the wizard's hat looks like. And uh, if I use the wizard's hat while I have it equipped, you will see that I turn into an orc. And uh, basically this wizard hat will let you turn into any of the horde races or any of the alliance races um, every 30 minutes. Uh, it's got a 30 minute cooldown. So you pretty much could technically stay in it all the time, but uh, if you get killed, of course you have to wait out the cooldown because it doesn't stay past death. So anyway, let me go ahead and show you how to get this. So for this, I went ahead and got onto my druid, um, and I'm going to use my druid to do the quest line. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and head out of Orgrimmar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip through this a little bit. All right, we're at the back gate. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and fly over to Blygewater Harbor here. So, uh, alright, just speeding this up a little bit. Alright, and here we are. Now, the place we're looking for is actually up by this tower here, and it's a goblin that begins the quest line. So I'll drop down. You see, I can't really see where the quests are on my minimap, so I'm going to go ahead and activate show lower level quest. Alright, that's active, and now you can see that it has a question or an exclamation point over it, so I'm going to go ahead and accept this quest, and that leads me to a dragon that's actually in hiding down here named Kalik and I'll turn this quest in here and you'll see he is going to so he gives me a water buff there that lets me swim faster that's because we gotta come out here for this quest to a murloc named Urgle so let me fly out here Alright. So I'll uh, turn this quest in. And he's going to give me three more quests here. Alright, now the first quest is going to be to collect these plants here, and they're all over the island. The second part of the quest is to kill these mobs called Macrini. And uh, basically you got to go in and kill a couple of those. But the main quest I wanted to show you here is the quest that I'm about to do right now. And this one is called... Sorry about that called absorbent and basically what I do is you see I drop down and I start absorbing these water elements and you see as I run by they just kind of attract to me so I'm basically I'm gonna go through run through here and collect all of these um, and I think I need you need about 20 so I'll just run through collect these guys get stuck in combat alright there we go and Alright, still collecting. Now, I'm about to collect the last one here. And you see I got that radio pop up there. Um, and the next quest is going to be to kill this water element. This is after the absorption quest that automatically uh, gave me the complete. So I come over here, and to do this, you basically got to click an item that they gave you for this quest when you're around this stone, and you'll see the water element appear there. And uh, you just got to kill him. It's pretty easy. Um, and you got to loot him for the item that he drops. 
Alright, so you got that. And before you turn these in, you make sure you uh, make sure you finish up that plant quest and the uh, the mob quest, and then you turn all three of these in. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and accept this next quest. And this next quest is actually gonna give you a ride. So basically, he's gonna give you this turtle you can ride on, and you'll see this. And this is gonna be a really fast clip because it, it's quite a ride. So I went ahead and uh, fast forwarded pretty good here. So you can see me rushing through. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty nice distance. But, uh, it is it is a pretty cool idea having a turtle bring you to the next part of the quest. So uh, I, I really like that Blizzard did stuff like this. It makes it you know pretty cool. A lot better than go collect these things, go kill those things. Alright, so, uh, keep in mind this is like quadruple speed, so yeah, this is, like I said, it's quite a ride. So, alright, well, continue on through here. Alright, and you'll see that we're going to come upon this tower, and this is the next quest uh, we got to accept. And this basically, this guy's going to give you a wizard hat, um, so this you can start doing uh, training under this uh, this archmage named Az Az Exylum, I think I'm saying it right, Exylum. Anyway, let me clip that wizard hat, and you can see it already looks like the other faded wizard hat we had earlier, um, but this one doesn't have any special abilities, so uh, we're going to go ahead and fly over here to the next part of the quest, and there's Asylum and uh, all his initiates there. So we'll go ahead and uh, complete this quest. And it's going to unlock three more quests over here we can collect. So we'll go ahead and pick those up. Alright, and so now we'll go ahead and uh, come down here and I'll show you what we got to do for these quests. Now, I know you, some of you are probably freaking out because you see the collect 60 feathers on your screen, but those are pretty simple because these things drop like at least like, I think like 6 feathers each. So it's like, basically you just got to kill these birds um, and loot the feathers that they drop. So it, it's not as tedious as you would think, but being like a count like 60. Because uh, common sense says these birds probably have more than one feather, so... Alright, the next part of the quest is to collect these yellow plants here, and they're like kind of hard to see because they kind of blend in, but usually if you search around the trees you'll find, you know, there's one right there, and you see me collect another one over here, and they're usually, like I said, they're usually by the trees, um, so if you stick to the trees you should be able to find them pretty easy. Um, for the last part of the quest here, we've got to go down this path and find a uh, rock elemental, I guess it's a rock elemental, and uh, Basically, we got to do something different here. So we got this little item here that we can put down. So basically, what we want to do is put this item down for the quest, and it's like a bomb kind of. And basically, you got to run away and let him walk over it. And when he does, boom! So now he drops these rock pieces um, from exploding, and you basically just got to go pick them up. So. Um, he dropped five this time. I'm not 100% sure if he drops five all the time. But, uh, you can always do it more than once. So. Alright, now we're back here. We're going to go ahead and turn these quests in. Okay, turn those in. Alright, and that gives us another quest unlock here. And I think one from Xylem. Yep, there we go. Go ahead and collect that quest. Alright, and so now we're going to go ahead and do, we got two more quests here. And we're going to go ahead and start flying over there. Alright, and uh, now that we're here, you see these uh, Cytars. And basically what you're going to do is use this uh, pet ability on them. And basically it's uh, basically going to polymorph them into a roach and you just got to kill them real quick. So, uh, gotta do that a couple times here, so let's go ahead and 
do it on this guy. And the next part of this quest is to actually collect a certain book. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is random through different books. So, you know, I open this one, I open the one over here. But the most consistent one I've seen for most of them is the one that's located right up here. Alright, so let me go ahead and polymorph this guy. And kill him. And all right, now I'm gonna loot this one. This is the book that I usually find it at, and it's here. So I'm a. I don't know if it's 100% there all the time, but it has been there lately. All right, and then f you don't have to walk back because there's a pet ability that teleports you back to camp. So to save all you people that don't have uh, mounts. So for this next part, you probably should have a mount coming up, and we'll see that in a minute. So I'll turn these quests in. All right. Alright, accept this quest here. And we are on our way. It's a pretty nice way to travel. See if maybe I can't get a petition into Blizz to, uh, you know, change this into flight path. Change the flight path into this would be pretty nice. Um, I don't think it'll go through. But anyway, uh, we're passing uh, Minigame Island is what I like to call it. Because um, you're about to go through the trials of Xylem. And uh, they're pretty cool. So, here we go, I just landed. I'm going to go ahead and turn in this quest. Alright, and in this next quest, you got to do something kind of special here. You see the lamppost that's standing right next to him right here? Basically, you got to click those as you're going up the mountain. So we click the first one, and then you when you touch this blue thing, it's going to send you up to the next part. So you got to keep clicking on the pillars and standing on the blue things to keep jumping through this. Now, you'll see like the white things falling behind me. Yeah, if those hit you, they send you flying into the water. So you got to kind of try and make it around them. It's more of a speed test, so you gotta kinda rush, click the thing, and then rush to the jump pad. But as long as you're you're pretty quick with it, it it's usually not a big deal. Um, so let me uh, finish doing the jumps here. It, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool quest line here. See, I do like a double jump there. Um, but yeah, uh, the, this quest is probably definitely easier for druids because you can hop out of the water and do a jump flight form instantly. You don't have to find any land to jump, you know, in your flight form or your out in your flying mount. So other classes might be a little more rough, but it's not really that hard. I mean, I've, I haven't really failed it all that many times. So all right, turn this quest in. 